Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 23-year-old female who was injured on the job, had some knee swelling and pain. They came in for the MRI, and we noticed that they had some fluid in the knee joint. The suprapatellar pars was distended, also some fluid in the front of the knee here. On the stir sequence, the fluid did not look simple, though. You can see this gray globs of uh, uh, intermediate stir signal in the suprapatellar pouch in front of the knee here, anterior knee joint. And on the T2-weighted sequence, it had a classic look here. Very dark areas of synovial proliferation here. So this is hemosiderin within the synovium, synovial overgrowth. And we call this pigmented villonodular synovitis, PVNS. And it's a classic look of it. They think this may have a malignant potential possibly, and so they will go into a synovectomy. And uh, patients usually have a, a full relief. Um, it's usually in patients who are between the second and fifth decades. And there's one other thing that can look very, very similar, and it's called synovial chondromatosis. They used to call it synovial osteochondromatosis, but it's not always calcified, uh, but the cartilaginous areas can be calcified. So if you do an x-ray, um, then you can know, you can say, hey, there's no calcification in this. This is almost definitely PVNS. And if you do see some calcifications, then you can say, hey, this is actually synovial chondromatosis with some calcified areas within it. And the synovial chondromatosis usually are, can have more rounded areas. Sometimes those calcifications are multiple and more rounded and a little bit more uniform. This is really not very uniform, really amorphic, some big areas, some small areas. So can I believe this to be uh, PVNS? And that's it. So thank you so very much.